What's up, my friends? Welcome back to our blind let's play of The Witcher. Here we are with Geralt, and we are in the um, Dwarven Blacksmith's house over here in a non-human district. We're going to have to look at the journal here for a second. I believe I want to talk to Kalkstein once more, and I would like to talk to Ramsmeat because now they are both suspects. And then we have a bunch of stuff in the swamps that I would love to take care of to get a little um, respite from this damn city. I mean, I love this city so far. I'm loving this act so far. But let's go get some greenery in our life instead of this gloomy uh, Vazeman city. So let's get right to it, man. Though I'm wondering where Kalkstein. Not Kalkstein. Um, wondering where what's his face is Rams meat. What's up, Kalkstein? Sorry, I got lost in thought. Let's talk about Salamandra. Hmm. I think you're in league with them. What? Me? Why? That's what I'd like to know. What is it you're after? Evidence indicates you're linked to the organization. Like, is he, though? I mean, like, he may be linked to the organization somehow because that guy didn't name drop him. Why would he name drop him, though? Something I don't have evidence for yet. Hmm. Let's talk about Salamandra. Hmm. Evidence indicates you're linked to the organization. What evidence? The wounded salamander mentioned you. That's likely since I hired him. What for? To help with my experiments. I had no idea he belonged to a secret organization. I suppose he distilled the fifth essence and dusted the philosopher's stone? He protected me from salamandra and did other tasks. He risked his life for me and your sarcasm will not change that. Get out of my sight, mutant. Um. Well, I think we pissed them off. I believe you. I don't know enough to decide. Let's drop the subject for now. Right. We can't waste time. When you find that criminal, I'll gladly help. But now, back to work. I still don't think Corpse is. Yes, this solution. I will reopen the case if I find new evidence. I, you know, I just don't think he's guilty. It's good that we brought it up, at least. I decided to give Kalkstein the benefit of the doubt for now. If he is guilty, evidence should surface soon enough. Like, okay. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt, because who knows? He may have hired this guy to help him out. Hold on. You offended me, Witcher. You schmuck. I guess I understand. We did kind of offend him quite a little bit here. All right, let's hope we see Zoltan on the road here. What I do need to do is I need to get rid of some of these books. Okay, you've already read this one. Cults and Religions of the Nordlings, a treatise of the religions of the Northern Kingdoms written by a Nilfgaardian. Among the numerous faces of the Nordlings, the most worship is the cult of Melatele, a goddess in three forms, young girl, mature woman, old hag. Melatele is a mother goddess, caring for her children. Primary women pray to her, though men in need might also utter supplications. The religion is a vestige of the old matriarchy and testifies to the weakness of the Nordlings. People who worship Female deities are soft-hearted and incapable of repairing their sons of war. 
Paper War. In recent years, the cult of Melatelli has found a rival in the cult of the Eternal Fire, which came out of Novigrad. Clerics of the Eternal Fire demonstrate fan fanaticism and almost complete devotion. The religion is hostile towards any form of otherness, including non-humans. The Order of the Flame and Rose is the cult's militant arm. The treaties also examines other faiths, including the cult of the Lionhead Spider. This game is very severe, man. Like, this game is super severe when it comes to this whole otherness thing. As in, like, it's got a whole bit of, it's got a good deal of racism going on here with non-humans and humans. And then we got this Nordling thing. The Nilf Guardians are south, obviously, and we're the north. And that's going on here. And this whole thing with the uh, sexism thing is a, is a bit much, too, considering, remember the bartender? Uh, I think it was like last episode, episode before, we were talking to her and she was talking about her husband beating her, knocking her tooth out, and Geralt was kind of just like nonchalant and like maybe we should, uh, you know, go out back anyway and risk it. Like, it's a bit heavy, the stuff going on here, but it's also simple. It's also, I think it's the, the way that writers are, are, are doing this game in general. They're making it very... I guess you can say, um, very real, kinda, as in how our world is portrayed. Anyways, I'm done rambling. I've seen a potion and bomb slot. Okay, so let's put this in here, then. Something. Faces of alchemy, cults, and Laura's gift. Laura's gift based on an elven fairy tale. But even pleas and invocations didn't soften the stone's hearts of the Dwan, the cruel and merciless humans. And when Laura grabbed the carriage door begging for mercy, but for her child, the queen ordered a thug to swing his sword, cutting her fingers off. The winter cold set in the night and on a hill of mist woods, Laura drew her last breath while giving birth to her daughter whom she protected which what warmth was left in her body and even through night winter and blizzard were all around springtime suddenly came to the hill and the fenwood flowers bloomed to this day the flowers are found in only two places the valley of Dolbathana and on the hill where Laura Doran Epshiadal died all right, well, this is obviously giving us more stuff in the codex stuff, but I just um, I don't really want to go over all that stuff right now. See, we have something for elves that unlocked, and we'll go over it later. Well, since we clicked on it, I know we've read some of this stuff. Let's start right here. Elves don't discuss their faith in presence of humans because they think bar the barbarians would unable to grasp the philosophical and mystical sub... Whatever that damn word is. Most humans, on the other hand, don't care about elven beliefs. It is fact that some elves believe in Dana Madab, the mother goddess who seems to be an embodiment of the goddess Malatelli. The elves tell the story of Laura Dorn and Craig, Craigan of Lod, an elven sorceress and human wizard, the legendary lovers who found, who formed the first union between the two races. Elves claim this relationship proved that peaceful coexistence between the races was possible, at least until human treachery killed the wizard and banished Laura. Thus, according to the elves, human hostility, possessiveness, and aggression were the first demonstrated. These barbarian quality like coexist with humans impossible and so the lover's tragic end triggered a war that continues to this day. I, I have no doubt in my mind the humans probably did start this war between them. Like it's saying right here that the elves were 
definitely look we're here elves claim this relationship proved peaceful coexistence between the races were possible like at least they were wanting to try man right anyways we did everything in characters let's get to it guys we are could sit here and I could read it to you guys forever even though I'm a terrible darn well, reader Oh, here we go. I'm looking for a book on the Swamp Tower. All right, yeah. Hmm. A passage in Alvaro's The Secret Gates focuses on magic towers. This particular tower? Yeah, he describes its history, too. I'll take it. Sadly, I don't have it. I've been trying for years to acquire the volume from Golan Vivaldi, but he is a stubborn dwarf. You try. Perhaps he'll sell it to you. Know anything else? I just remembered another book about the tower. I'm listening. Ain't so far. An alchemy treatise by gnomes. Difficult to find, but a certain hermit in the swamp might know something. Thanks for the advice. Okay, well, it's very good we clicked on him because I did forget about this. The dwarven antiquarian hinted at where I might find the books. I need Golan Vavori own secret gates and he might also have a copy of Enso or he said like a, a hermit in the swamps has the copy as well all right well we need to go back to Vivaldi thank you for reminding me my what dwarven friend while we're here go ahead and take this shite let me just make sure we have all the big ones before we head to the swamp You know, I think we pretty much got all the damn books, my friends. What terrible times. And let's go to this guy. Let's just sell off some Did shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dog Tallow. Nope. What? Still so got flowers. You know, let's give her this ring. Get rid of that ring. And I think we're good for the swamps. Let's head to... Zoltan! There you are! Yes? We need to ask him about the sword, Shani. What's telling us about? Because she doesn't know much about Cohen's sword. She's like, Zoltan knows uh, all about these oddities and such. What do you know about my silver sword? What, me? A simple dwarf? Shani insisted your knowledge of weapons is unequaled. All right. Silver-plated blade. A steel core. Suited to a two-handed grip. Decent workmanship. Not perfect. I don't know runes for shit. Thanks. No problem. That was it. All right, Zoltan. I'm going to expend some of this later. I know we asked him about this already, but there's it's still not grayed out. Farewell. And I want to uh, hear all the rest of the juicy stuff he has to say. I own a True Witcher sword of prime quality. Well, thanks. So let's look at the journal here once more. A game of dice. The mysterious towers in the swamps. I sent all the ghosts. What time is it? Hold on. What time is it right now? 9.30. Ointments, herbs, and spices. I'm mad. You are mad, woman. Let's get over here and... You know what? No. Let's go to Vivaldi. Talk to him and then meditate in his house. Because I believe we can sleep there. You're getting out of here? Stay here, man! What's up, girl? Look at her. What's up, Shani? Geralt, we need to talk. What is it? Some people died at the hospital. Were you involved? Explain yourself. I wanted to question a prisoner, one of your patients, but thugs interrupted us. It was their bodies the guard discovered later. Hmm. I'll tell you what I overheard. The prisoner will be transported to a safe location. Thanks, Shani, for understanding. Just watching out for you. 
That's my girl. All right, well, see, see you later. I guess she's not too pissed. Ish. Wasn't us that massacred everyone in there. They brought it on themselves. What brings you here? Do you have a copy of the secret gates? I do, but I'm unwilling to part with it. I insist. Just give me a price. So be it. He's got the secret gates, but he also has this one. But they said a hermit has it in the swamps. Man, should we just buy them both? Throw it. I should read the secret gates carefully and end so far. We have 94 orange now. Hey. Yeah. Okay, I got hold of the end so far. I need to study the book thoroughly. And so far, a mysterious treatise by an unknown author devoted to to the Ten Sephirot. Huh, I, oh, I wondered where these came in, so I guess that they come in in the Kalkstein's quest here. Well, that's cool, because we were getting that shit ahead of time. But we got a, a bunch of stuff ahead of time. Like, we got Grandma's book that's a freaking quest item, this lard, it's cordial. We still have that damn key that we got that we have no clue. So I'm, this stuff will come up later, I'm sure. What the hell is this earth room? Shani give us this? Oh, Zoltan must have. Okay, a mysterious treatise the unknown author devotes to Ten Sephirot, written long before human colonized the world. It was reclaimed with great effort and translated faithfully from the Gnomish. Ten worldly elements, ten cornerstones, all emerge from these ten seeker. All the all emerge from these ten. Seeker, lift your eyes. Search your past and you shall find. He who knows your course holds wisdom and will share it when asked. Another has gained uncountable riches, yet has compassion in his heart. Your heart, in turn, does not harbor love, but is with one who knows mercy. One able to love, once blind, now plunge into your mind, your memory. Dark and dangerous in the path from enslavement to the promised kingdom. A goddess thrice over, virgin mother, old woman, three faces, three graces, understanding power, glory, achievable through sacrifice and prayer. The foundation lies in the deep, be not tempted by the errant fire. Defeat death and you will be rewarded. Victory is gained only by fighting its century. He who leads through labyrinth mysteries will offer you the crown of consciousness. At your past end, awareness will be yours. You will comprehend what is locked will open before you. The ten names are Wisdom, Kokma, Understanding, Vana, Love, Kazath, Compassion, Tiparoth, Power, Gavath, Victory, Nazat, Nazada, Glory, Oath Foundation, Yasath, Kingdom, Malakad, Crown, and Cathar. Okay, that was definitely a riddle for sure, and it was interesting because I love these damn little brain busters, but I caught some of the stuff in there, and only because we did it so recently. One of the things in there was about the three that we got from that statue. It was talking about the uh, Malatelli statue. The other ones obviously must have been. I didn't catch the ones that we already got. So we got three from the statue at least. And then we got one from the freaking cockatrice. But I couldn't really make heads or tails of the rest of the stuff. A book by Rensant Alv Alvro, which tells the story of the mage from the tower in the swamps. Old men say that long, long ago, a mage lived in the swamps. 
He spent his days and nights poring over his books and pivots. They say he was seeking the stone that turned lead into gold and springs of water into moonshine. In other words, a stone that sub sublimates all matter. The gods were not pleased because in his pride he would reach where no mortal should. Thus one night a terrible storm struck the mage's tower, however he built a new one and cast spells to tame the storm. This tower stood until another dark night, the earth itself moved and toppled it. Yet he built a new one and cast spells to bind the earth itself, and so neither heaven nor earth would harm the mage. Then one day he disappeared. Some say he took on an apprentice and this brought him to doom. Others claim a woman was un well, a woman was his undoing, yet others that his own creations turned against the mage. In any case, the tower stands locked and guards its secrets and what lurks inside and nobody knows. Alright my friends, we have a shit ton of information that we got. Let's get back to Hawkstein perhaps then. Talk to him. We'll meditate there, go to what's her face, and then we need to head to the damn swamps, because there's a shit ton of stuff. Like I retrieved the books Coxine asked for, sharing new information with him can pay off. Alright. If he even talks to us, he was pissed. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. That is one amazing cheese wheel there, Coxine. About the tower. Yes? I have new information on the tower. Tell me quickly. Before this tower, the mage erected two others, but both collapsed. This one served as his house and lab. I knew that. Anything more? The mage lived there until he disappeared, most likely dead. He constructed clay golems that served him, but hardly seemed a major achievement. That would agree with the legends of the sentry. There are ten cornerstones involving the elements and threads of fate from which all this was born. Sephiroth! So the old scrolls are true! One book contained hints of the stone's whereabouts. We must find all ten Sephiroth. I own one of them, Chokma, the Stone of Wisdom. I suppose I'm to find the others? Yes. Near the tower, you'll find a circle of stone obelisks. When you have all ten Sephiroth, place them on the obelisks. Ah, so close. What a breakthrough! I'll abolish the theory of those stuffy professors in Oxenfort. I'll destroy them, smash them! Kalkstein, don't get worked up until I find the stones, which won't be easy. The information in these books is murky at best. Sorry, could you show me these books? I'll make notes for you. Here. There you are. Hell yeah, Kalkstein, get excited, big guy. I find... I need to find the nine remaining Sephiroths oh, and... Yes. Okay. This solution Time to talk to Raymond about Kalkstein. You know, I am just not doing that right now. No. I want to go to the damn swamps. We're going to wait to talk to Raymond once we get back from the swamps because I want to do a bunch of stuff there. I have another Sephiroth thanks to Kalkstein's notes again. Kalkstein. I still want to talk to Rams me. Kalkstein, trust me already. It's time to talk to Raymond. Let's not do that just yet. I want to go to the swamps, but like this, these notes that Kalkstein, is it a quest item that he gave us? Or, Grandma's juicy diary, my friends, let's read it. I bet she's got some pictures in there. You know what I mean? Here we are. So this is Sephiroth symbolizing wisdom of the one that Kalkstein gave us. Huh. That's pretty interesting. In his sharply inclined hand, Coxine scrolled, scrolled some notes about where to look for the Sephiroth. Like, thank you. Was that it? I have five, but it's not saying where to look. Let's see. So he took the books from us. You sucker.
Is it like a codex entry? Shit. Alright, and so far, uh, the tome that details in a very tangible manner will look for a Sephiroth. Stones will open the tower in the swamps. The first stone is with a wise person. The second will come with freedom. Okay, so Kalkstein's the wise person. The second one came with freedom, which was a cockatrice. Third stone is in possession of a someone is in possession of someone wealthy. While a merciful person while a merciful person has the fourth. Three other stones are guarded by a girl, a mother, and an old hag. So that was the one we got from the thing. So we need to find a wealthy and a merciful person. The eight Sephiroth is hidden underground in the swamp and guarded by death. The ninth will be attained by fighting the guardian. While the tenth and final will be guarded, will be warded for tenaciously seeking the truth. I think that sums it up, kinda. Let's, Coxstein. Let me spend a night, man. Let's have a damn sleepover. And we never got to the damn swamps. Okay, we have silver talents here. Do one in intelligence, and then since we're going to the swamps. Let's do fast silver, more damage, more damage for strong silver. Oh, we already got that then. And then precise hit for group style. Probably should brew some potions too, but I dare say we can do it around next episode because we probably won't get too far into the damn swamps here what's up hooker all right let's go to Hilda Brad whatever her name is she says she'll be there around noon she freaking better be or I'm gonna Write the governor of Azima about this crap. What's up, Siegfried? Look at Siegfried over here just chilling. I still can't believe these asshats won't talk to us. Will you? I only work. Bye. I mean, this, this guy said I never heard of you. Man, we helped Siegfried. We saved the fucking thing here. You know. This bitch is not even here. Son of a. I probably should have slept until freaking 12 o'clock. I wish we could spend a night at Siegfried's. Whatever he sleeps at, a guard post, I guess. While we're here, let's go talk to Ram's meat. You think he's in his house? Let's go talk to the bouncers first. Looking for. I'll be going. Looks like I have to deal with these idiots. Looking for some- I'll be going. Alright, well we can't go to his house. What's up, Carmen? Still out here chilling. Look at her. Lost the moves, my friends. Rams meet? Where the freak are you, pal? He's not even here. Hell. Son of a bitch. Your mother sucks dwarf cock. Hit me, chicken. There's no reason to say that, pal. I need to rest. <laughs> he turned and just blared that shit at us. <laughs> oh Damn God. it. Any room? Five. Yeah, 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 come on. Maybe Ramsey would be here at nighttime. Hit 
Hit me, there you are, Rams meat. That you're making me late for Hildebrand. Let's talk to him. What do you want, Wolf? Ever seen the Salamandra sign? I've seen a lot. Have a problem with that? Best tell me all you know. The name Azar mean anything? I have a rule. Before I slit someone's throat, I give them some advice. Never threaten me. Make sure you remember that. I mean, image is everything, right? I need to talk to you about Salamandra. Quickly. When I ask about Salamandra, your henchmen get shifty. They're like me. We don't like Salamandra. And I'm a priestess of Melitelli. You're either very brave or very foolish to accuse me. Neither, Ramsmeet. You should have asked my men why they get nervous. Now shove off. Why did you contact Witcher Berengar? What's it to you? He was my brother. Take a good look. Do I seem like a whore to you? Actually. Um... I just really want to say this, but I'm not going to, man. No. So why are you trying to fuck me? Again, what's it to you? He was a friend. I suspect Salamandra had something to do with his disappearance. You choose your friends poorly. Berengar schemed with Salamandra, and that's why we had our eye on him. As they say, keep your friends close, and your enemies closer. He disappeared in the swamp. Kalstein hired one of my boys to find him. Then he disappeared. That's all. Now get lost. Your people attacked me at the hospital. You cracked? I sent them there to bring back one of ours. Huh. Maybe he's freaking innocent too. Holy shit. Let's say I believe you. I'm short on proof, so let's say I leave you alone for now. Thanks a lot, but you'll allow me not to fall at your feet. If you do happen to find Javed, I'll be glad to hear about it. And if you find any of his underlings, I wouldn't mind having a chat with them, too. Okay, I will reopen the case if I find new evidence. Alright. We need to get to Hilda Run and not read anything because it's probably like one o'clock now. Interesting. So Ramsmeat might be innocent too here? This is mighty confusing shit. Like why would Ramsmeat What is this connection to Javed? Ramsmeat's like the king of the underworld, that's what he was saying. Is Javed stepping on his toes, I wonder, which is pissing Ramsmeat off? I mean, that could possibly be it. So, Ramsmeat might be freaking innocent too, but I thought he had all the ones that'd be guilty, he might be the one. Ashes I, just, to ashes. I don't believe Kalkstein definitely is. I don't I just don't think he's in on it. Why would he give us the tower stuff? I mean, they could be throwing us off with Kalkstein, giving us a tower stuff to make you think he's really not innocent. And that he's guilty. I mean, I just don't know. Speak softly. Or someone will spot us together. I've dealt with your husband. Have you proof? You didn't mention proof. I want my gold. You're depriving a widow of her pittance. Quiet down. Aren't you afraid of being seen in the company of a witcher? Damn you! Take your gold and be gone! What a bitch. Okay. The woman wanted to cheat me, but I got my money in the end. What would you want to chill? Come on, man. I did you a damn favor, you freaking old hag. Good freaking grief, my friends. Let's go to the swamp, shall we, huh? Yeah, the whole Ransomeet thing is interesting. The whole Kalk scene thing is interesting. So they're the two ones on the list now. I wonder if we're going to find any more people. To get on this list. 
Like the only other option would be the swamps because we pretty much almost 100% this place. At least I think we have. Declan the Warden? Yeah, let's go talk to him. Army Arbor Horror? Hell yeah. I joined the special forces during what the war. What I give for some new shot the booze is done. Wanna go talk to the Harbor Horror? What's this? Old Vizima. Beyond that gate, the Catriona Plague kills dozens every day. I have a feeling the quarantine's useless. What's up, girl? I believe Carmen mentioned you. Possibly. I did her a favor. She also said what you'd bring. What do we got? Do we got any more roses? Indeed, we do. I'm gonna buy some more roses from that guy. The, uh, gardener. I know somewhere we won't be interrupted. Lead the way. Booyah, baby! Here we go. <laughs> I think this is the same one. Did we just get the same card? We probably did. Okay. Alright. Well, I hope you like them flowers. Gerald is such a dog, my friends. He just don't care. Right here on the freaking harbor. Don't even matter. Can you get her? Go give her some flowers, man. As you see, what the hell just happened I with me? I end up depending on myself. They say if you want something done right, you gotta do it your damn self. What's up, Declan Lovarden? You again? They let you into town? Are you Louvarden? I am. Let's talk. Yes? Holy shit. I think you're paying for Salamander pins. Is he the one paying for the pins? Yeah, because the uh, dude said he worked for Lou Varden. Interesting. How's business? You think me a seller of turnips? I run businesses you can't even fathom. I see. You're confusing reflected stars for the night sky. I'm waiting for important news. You ever wonder, like, check this out, like, you ever think, uh, okay, these hefty guys, right? You ever look at their little necklace? You ever wonder if that's a cowbell? Because it kind of is a cowbell. You you think that, like, the developers are throwing one at you? Kind of making fun of these big boys? You know how there's cows that they're walking, they're hefty, and they got their little bell around them, jiggling? Like, every big boy has one of them damn cowbells, man. It's just ridiculous, huh? Let's talk. Yes? I heard creatures threaten the transport of goods. Yes, uh, I assume you're not asking for curiosity's sake. I'm hoping someone will pay for their removal. I may. The dog by the swamp is crucial to my business. The creatures have caused me losses. What are the beasts like? Drowners. They emerge at night. Destroying goods and murdering carriers. I'll pay 400 orns to be rid of them. Okay, hell yeah. A pleasure doing business. Indeed. Let's talk. Yes? So we gotta clear the docks over here at nighttime? I seek the Sephiroth stones. I haven't yet located them all. I thought you might know such art and oddities. I once purchased one for its magical potential, which turned out false. And I paid a mage a costly sum for the examination. Then would you sell it to me? Sell my Tipparath? <laughs> I'm rather fond of it. I'll give you a good price. Five hundred orns? I didn't think it was worth so much. But all right. I wear Tipparath as an amulet. We can deal right now. Um, okay, so he wants 500 orns for the Tiproth. He, so he's the mur 
He's the wealthy one then. All right. I don't have the money yet, but I'll bring it soon. No hurry. I'm not that eager to make the trade. I must use the boat to get to the swamps and rid the monsters who come at the harbor at night. So wait, there, it's not over here at night? Army life's tough. Hold on. What is that over there? Fireplace? Yes? Um, let's just dig into it. I think you're paying for salamander pins. I'm just not sure why you would do that. You're mistaken. Why so defensive? I'm also after Salamandra, and can prove it. If so, bring me three pins. Then we'll talk. I have three Salamander pins. Will you tell me about your secret society now? Excellent. I normally pay 20 apiece, but I'll make an exception. I'll give you ten times that. Great, but I still want to know why you're paying bounty hunters to track down bandits. They're not good for business. Your business? All businesses. Listen. There are forces beyond your imagination at work here. Be thankful you don't know the world for what it is. Luvardin, I've heard so many high and mighty speeches that yours doesn't impress me. I don't give a shit about these forces. My only concern is reaching the Salamandra leaders and killing Azar Javed. That I'd like to see. Should you succeed, find me, and I'll reward you handsomely. And if you destroy Salamandra as a whole, I will repay you for your efforts. That won't be easy. I may come see you again, and I'll be counting on your assistance. I'll help if I can. See you later. Yes? Okay, well that's pretty cool. I want to sell a badge. Well, we have other badges. He only took three of all of us, right? I want to sell a badge. Oh? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Here's your payment. 600 orans. Holy shit. Hold on, Declan. Safe haven. Lavarn offered me 400 orans for killing drowners. I should use the boat to get to the swamps and rid the monsters that have been haunting the harbor at night. So it's at nighttime on the other side. I thought he was saying on this side. I decided to give Ransme the benefit of the doubt for now. If he is guilty, evidence should surface soon enough. All right. Yes. I have 500 orans, though it's quite a price to pay for a stone. I sadly relinquish it. But my reputation would suffer, as would my business, if I did not deal. The Sephira is yours. Well, the 500 orange that we just got... It's back to you there, Lovarden. Interesting, so Lovarden is completely against Salamandra here as well. He's the one that's buying badges, he don't like them for business. So that means, to me, with knowledge of the books with uh, the Lovarden family being a wealthy Nilfgaardian merchants, he said, what did he say? Forces un unimaginable or work here or something like that. So Nilfgaard is tied in the mix here somehow. And I think they are tailored through him somehow because I know that he's a Nilfgaardian merchant. Well, his family is at least. And, and obviously he is too. So he wants Salamandra gone and he's paying for the badges to get him gone. So I wonder if he's doing it to appease Amir or something. He's on Amir's orders here. Because Salamandra was once a company of Amir in the end of the books, I remember. But Amir likes to use things and discard them. Just like he did with Escoyotel and shit, too. So maybe... If he said Salamandra's bad for business, obviously... I don't think Nilfgaard's behind Salamandra. At least not Amir. Because, like I said, Amir likes to discard shit. Unless it is part of his plan, too. Be alert. But who knows if he's even in this game? He, he's gotta be in this game. He's, I mean, maybe not in this game, but he's gotta be in these games. He's gotta come up at some point because of this whole little Lavartan situation. Like I'm telling you, I know he's it, it's it's something going on here. The way he was talking about forces are at work here beyond your imagination. So I wonder, like something shady's going on here with the North and South, obviously. 
But it's pretty cool. You know, we got Levarden on our side, it seems. And he's selling... Or I can sell him badges, which is cool. I'll just... At nighttime, fine. I'm not going to farm it at this point, but at nighttime, if we uh, kill more, we'll get some of the badges. And when we come back, um... Army life's tough. Do we have any flint? We do not. Hold on. Yeah. We can still sell him badges. Do you have any flint, pal? He does have all our flint from the outskirts. Give me one of them bad boys. We still have 664. Damn, them bad, them fucking things myself for a lot. He said he'll pay him. He paid double? Like, how much did he buy them for? Because we had. We had, like, no orange friends, right? And now we got a shit ton on them badges. Okay. Anyways. Hold on, let's get in this barrel here. Damn, there was a flint in there. Ah, crap. Alright, so I'm gonna save here, and when we get back, we're actually gonna head to the swamps. The Once we do the swamps, then we'll come back and do Raymond stuff. For now, okay, this is the ferryman, so he's green, we'll probably have to talk to him. But... You know what? We'll just go over there at daytime. Because there may be people over there to talk to during the day. And then we'll meditate over there if we have to. Anyways, my friends, Help. take it easy. Have a good one. Until next time, stay safe out there. Anyone See y'all then. To cross?